If you guys are looking to buy any FIFA 19 Ultimate Team coins, go and check out U7 Buy. You can use my discount code JACK54 for 5% off. They're an incredibly cheap and reliable place. Link will be down in the description. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have a transfer rumour video for you today. Uh, we're going to be using FIFA 19 players on here just to show them. And then I've also created some FIFA 20 cards um they're actually just still fifa 19 cards but they're fifa 20 mimics um of which of the of the club that i think this player is going to be going to the rumors surrounding it and also what stats and whether they've been upgraded or not so um yeah it's kind of like a potential fifa 20 card uh, upgrades downgrades episode um at their new club so uh yeah hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it as well if there's any transfer rumors that you'd like to see me do an episode on uh that aren't featured in this video please let me know in the comment section below and uh, i will get to that right away i'm sure there's going to be loads of episodes of these because there's forever endless transfer rumors but i'm trying to do the most stapled ones um i suppose and ones which are actually not necessarily confirmed by outlets because there's very few kind of like confirmed interest from reliable sources, but ones which I think that are maybe slightly possible, which now I've said that you guys probably will look at half of these and think, what is he on about? But anyway, we're going to go through them. It's a bit of fun and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, get you guys a bit excited if your club pops up and you might not. Uh, might not know about a rumour and then finally find out about one uh, throughout this video. So, um, yeah, even though probably 80-90% of them probably won't happen, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Um, it's a bit of a Love Island quote there. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to dive straight into it. So, the first card is going to be Buffon. Now, this man is going to be leaving Paris Saint-Germain this summer. And uh, yeah, he is looking for a new club. Apparently on the radar is Porto, which wouldn't surprise me, seeing as they did get Casillas. They do, I think a lot of uh, people in the, uh, well, clubs in the Portuguese league, there's been Julio Cesar, there's been obviously Casillas, um, now Buffon's linked to, linked to go to the League of Portuguesa. So potentially it's the kind of fit for um, that league. It's definitely not as fast and to a certain level, like as high a level as some of the league, other leagues in Europe. So maybe it's a good place to go when you're nearer the end of your career and you kind of want a bit of a, I don't know, not of a, not an easier time, but just a bit of a, you know, slowing your pace down and not necessarily playing at the highest level you possibly could. No disrespect to Portugal and their football. There's been many and many incredible and iconic football players that have come out of that country. It's just the league standard as a whole probably isn't up to the scratch of other parts of Europe, which I think we can all agree on. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a little rumour. And But the one that kind of struck me most was that he was going to be uh, going to Leeds, which is the one that I've tried to focus on. Um, and yeah, obviously they missed out on promotion to the Premier League. Um, so whether this rumour is true or not, I'm not too sure, but I saw it on the Sky Sports transfer um, feed and I thought, you know what, let's whack it in and let me know what you guys think. I would love to see him in the Premier League. I could see him at kind of maybe one of the new promoted teams. He's still an amazing goalkeeper, don't get me wrong. And uh, also the stats and everything that I've seen on the, that I've put on the cards um, is what I think he'll be next season. So obviously I have downgraded him by one rating um, because he's getting older. Come on guys, he is what? born in 1978 so what is 40 um over 40 it's going to be 41 um so I, actually no he is 41 yeah he's 41 so i think that's kind of fair enough to uh, to downgrade him one uh because at some point in everyone's career they're gonna to have to go down uh down so um next we are gonna go for this isn't gonna be like um players in the correct positions by the way uh it's simply just a video where i'm just gonna be able to put them all in the in the in the team, just to show you, uh, and it is Romelu Lukaku. Now, it's been no uh, kind of, I may as well put it in the centre back version, actually. Um, yeah, it's been uh, no surprise to see him want to leave Manchester United. He's had not the easiest of times there, I would say, necessarily from the media and also the fans themselves. He's not had that bad a uh, uh, goal scoring record. I think it's like 50%, like a 0.5 goal scoring ratio, which I know. You'd expect better from him, especially in the Premier League. But to be honest, he's not done that bad a job. He's had 
kind of different peaks in form and sometimes he's been really bad. He's had kind of goal droughts here and there, but overall, he's probably just done an average job. Like, nothing amazing, but he's done a job, essentially. I, I don't think you can really um, be too hard on Lukaku himself because it's not like the whole of the United team has been playing very well in general anyway. Um, I know they had that 13-game kind of like resurgence when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer took over, but um, it kind of fell a bit to pieces nearer the end of that spell and up until up until kind of this point. So that's all I think anyway. I think he'll get downgraded a couple of ratings, so I've put him as an 85 rated card. But he is linked to Inter Milan um, in a £75 million deal. Apparently United aren't going to go any penny less because a couple of years ago even Perisic was linked to a move to Man United and Inter would not sell him for any less than £48 million. So United are taking the shoe on the other foot and uh, giving that same stance to Inter, which I think is completely fair enough. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, if you got an offer of £70 million pound or £65 million pound for him, I think yeah, you could just take it. Or you could try and use the deal to tr maybe lure an interplayer um, across Icardi. I thought would have been a great fit United for United, but it does look as though he's going to Juventus. I thought he would be the, he's a kind of out-and-out -out, proper striker that United would need. Kind of a striker with a bit of presence. You've always yeah, Manchester United have, have always had that, and that's really what's lacking. Since Latan left, that is... That's the kind of lacking uh, that you that you've yeah that you're missing in, in my personal opinion anyway. Um, but now we're going to move on to the next card, and that is going to be Pepe. And this is not um, the Pepe that most of you are probably going to be thinking of, but it's going to be Nicolas Pepe. Um, obviously, he's come onto the scene a lot more recently. Um, his normal card was 81 rated, I think. Uh, no, 79 rated. That's his upgraded card. I put him up as an 84 rated card, I believe. Um, I just think because he's done so well this year in the league, and um, he deserves that kind of rating, and he's shone incredibly well. There's been rumours of him going to PSG. There was um, Liverpool. I think even Atletico Madrid were in for him at one point, um, but uh, they have just signed. I'm pretty sure they've just signed João Felix. So not too sure whether they're going to be after him. Um, I'm not too sure. But Liverpool are favourites. I think they're like six to four to sign him, which. In odds in terms of uh, transfer rumours, that's not that great because usually when one's stapled, it's about 1 to 20 on. But there we go. Um, but yeah, I would love him at Liverpool. I think it'd be a great fit. Uh, we do need another attacking player, but I personally kind of think we do need a little bit more of a central attacking midfielder. Um, someone like Bruno Fernandes would be fantastic. It looks as though it's going to be between United and Liverpool between uh, where Fernandez does end up. But that is for another video. Um, we'll move now on to the third player, and that is going to be Kylian Mbappe. Now, I know Mbappe, uh, the Pierre Saint Germain's president uh, or owner, has said we will not be selling Mbappe this season. I can categorically say 200% he won't be going. But that's happened in the past, and teams have kind of changed their minds and ended up selling him. But I think there's a very, very small chance of him leaving. But if he does, it will be to Real Madrid. He won't be going anywhere else. I know I saw Liverpool have been cut to 72 in the betting to sign him just because Mbappe was seen in a photo with uh, LeBron, I believe, or someone, some basketball player who had who has an association with Liverpool because he has a share in it. I'm pretty sure it's LeBron um, and he was wearing a Liverpool cap at the same time. It's all speculation. It's rumours. It's just what the media love to get their teeth into to sell articles and to sell stories. Um, but I personally think he will be at uh, PSG next season. Although, if he was to move anywhere else, he would be at uh, Real Madrid, in my personal opinion. Although, I'd love to see him at Liverpool. Whether we could afford him, I do not know. But um, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, I've, uh, I think I've kept him pretty much the same car. I think he's got, I've put him up to an 89 rated. Um, I don't think he's going to be going up to the 90 rating just yet. He's still a very young player and obviously still has so much more untapped potential, which is kind of scary because he's already easily one of the top five players in the world. So, um, yeah, crazy stuff. But anyway, we're going to now move on to the next card and it is going to be a man, well, a Scottish fullback, would you believe it or not? No, it's not the best left back in the world, <laughs> um, but it is Kieran Tierney and he obviously plays for Celtic. Um, and he has been linked to a move, uh, linked with a move to Arsenal, which I think would probably be a good move for him. He's obviously done great at Celtic, and I think 
it, you know, Arsenal could probably get him for quite a bit of a bargain, actually. I think £15 million is the uh, rumoured fee. Um, but yeah, it's left back's the kind of position which they've Arsenal have kind of struggled with um, since maybe Ashley Cole left, I guess you could say. Clichy done a bit of a job there as well. Um, but yeah, maybe I think I think he would be a good signing if you ask me. Um, I mean, I'm not going to act like I know everything about Arsenal and their whole team. But uh, yeah, I mean, would you would you Arsenal fans say no for 50, 15 million pounds? Let me know in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, it'd be great to hear your opinion. So next up, we have got Maguire. Now Maguire, it looks as though he's going to be heading to Manchester, but which Manchester team? We do not know. That is the problem. Um, I think United are favourites to sign him. I think they're 6-5 to five and City are like 6-4. to four. Um, But yeah, it looks as though he's going to be heading to Manchester. I think Manchester United will probably be more inclined to try and pick him up. Um, City do love a ball-playing centre-back though. And uh, he does seem kind of like the player that Pep would like to have in his team and develop. Um, so I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comment section below who you guys think it's going to be. Um, City would probably... I don't know. I guess they'd probably be... His, I, I, I can't speak for him, actually. I'm, I was going to say whether he'd prefer to go to United or City, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think as well. Uh, then we're going to be moving on to, obviously, Delit, um, who it looks as though has chosen Juve uh, over... Uh, PSG and also rumoured rumours of Liverpool, uh, Manchester United. Although I think Liverpool pulled out, uh, I'm not too sure. United, I think United working, but I think they kind of frayed out um, because I think Delit's agent managed to screw him in and, like some mad deal or something at Delit uh, at uh, Juve. So that's probably why he's gone there. And um, obviously, when Ronaldo, arguably the best player in the world, tells you to come to the club that he's playing for you're kind of stupid to say no. Um, so, yeah, I think, he, I think he'll do great in Serie A and it's probably, probably not a bad stepping stone um, into, into like a, a high level of football. Obviously, he completely showed what he's capable of, of in the Nations League and also, more importantly, the Champions League with Ajax in their incredible run to the semi-finals. But, um, yeah, I think sometimes club uh, players can kind of do too much too soon and I think Juve is probably a great place for him to go. There's a lot of golden oldies in that team but also young players as well coming through so it's probably not a bad place to go go to and get a lot of experience and uh, you know yeah I just think it'd be a great place for him uh, in general. Next we're going to be focusing on Neymar. Now it's pretty clear Neymar has uh, had his ups and downs at PSG. He's been in in the in the in the limelight quite a bit whilst he's been over there. Obviously, he's been injured a few times as well. Um, he's had some altercations with the fans uh, and other teams' fans. But um, yeah, I think uh, maybe his time could be up at uh, PSG, and I think a return to Barca could be on the cards. Apparently, Barca would pay up to ninety million pounds for him. I think they'll be having to steep a little bit higher than that. To really do, uh, really force PSG to come and sell him, but um, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at all. It will be interesting, very, very interesting. Could you see Coutinho going the other way? Um, I'm not too sure, but I'd love to see Coutinho play a bit more of a central role at Barca. Neymar to come back, go on the wing, um, and then you've got Griezmann in there. You've got Suarez. You've got Messi. Obviously, it looks as though Griezmann could be uh, one of the bigger. Well. A, a, a huge signing um, for Barca and I think oh, I just can't that front three would be absolutely disgusting with Coutinho in behind as a, in a more central role I really do think because he's so much stronger there than on the wing where he's been playing for Barca um, but yeah let me know in the comment section below what you guys think be great to hear all your opinions uh, then we have got the second to last player I've only got 10, I've not got 11, there's going to be one space remaining in this team. Uh, and it is Ericsson, there's rumours of him going to United or uh, Juve. I think he's probably more likely to stay in the Premier League um, and go to United. Obviously, it is a step up from Spurs. I know Spurs finished higher in the league than them, but there's, there's a big differ differentiation in the size of the club between Spurs and United. That's just how it is. And um, yeah, I, I suppose maybe... I know Spurs have been doing very well and been 
challenging for the title up until a certain point in each season um, and also the uh, Champions League, but maybe it's time for Ericsson to move on, um, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know in the comments text below what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I think he's more than likely to stay in the Premier League. And if he doesn't, there's obviously Real Madrid as well as Juve on the uh, on the horizon, if not. Um, and he has also come out and said that he's open to a move um, away from Spurs. So it'll be interesting. Anyway, the final player is going to be Koulibaly. Um, and this man has obviously cemented himself in the Napoli team. He's cemented himself as a top class centre-back in Europe. And uh, yeah, I think he could be on his way for a big, big move to a massive club. Um, or maybe a, well, a club which is going to be maybe at the forefront of some of Europe's top competitions. I know Napoli are a fantastic side, don't get me wrong, but there's definitely clubs which would be willing to pay top dollar for him and um, essentially bring him into uh, a title-challenging team uh, in the Premier League or a team challenging for the Champions League um, because he's that kind of calibre of player. And uh, there's rumours of Liverpool. I don't think he'll be coming to Liverpool. I don't think we'll be signing a top, top, top class centre-back this uh, transfer window. We don't really need to. I think we'll be signing a replacement for Lovren. It looks as though he might be going to AC Milan. Um, but yeah, I think Na uh, Napoli will be selling uh, Koulibaly this season. Even though they might not want to, I think City could be on the radar. And uh, yeah, it'll be very, very interesting. I think I think Real Madrid might as well might be in for him as well. But um, yeah, they're the they're the ten transfer rumors for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to smash a like. That'd be absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comment section below all your guys' transfer rumors that you've heard and you've seen. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any inside info, <laughs> which is probably going to be uh, the worst thing I've ever said because there's going to be people claiming that they've heard. All types of rumours and claiming that this player is going elsewhere. So actually, maybe no, don't do that. But just say what player your club that you support you'd love, what player you'd love to see sign for your club and put your club as well next to it. Great to hear your opinions, guys. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. For the record. For the record. For the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, all record. I still count wins when they got it. All